Tears of grief and prayers for a mother and her two sons who police say were shot by the woman's boyfriend earlier this week. Alicia Reed shows us how the family is being honored, including the 15-year-old son who was murdered. Hundreds gathered at Reese Park in Katona to pray for the Raymondi family. For all of this, it's 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 just unreal. It's you don't you don't think it's real. 15-year-old Michael Raymondi was killed late Monday night when police say Fernando Jimenez shot him, his mother Christina, and his younger brother at their Baldwin Place home. Christina is <laughs> trying to, we're, she's trying to get better, and we're, we're, we're just asking for continued prayers for our family to, to, to get through this. The Somers community honored Michael's life, his love for cars, and origami. He loved the magic of origami, the complex mechanics of a car, and Legos. He could take apart anything, and he could put it back together again. Michael had a rich interior life full of imagination and vibrant and unique ideas. There was so much depth and creativity within them. We were only beginning to uncover them. Teachers reminisced about his bubbly personality. His silliness and laughter were infectious. He was mischievous in a way that would make us all laugh never to deceive. The teenager left an indelible mark on those who knew him, his younger cousin sharing a story. He taught me a very valuable lesson. It's to never give up and that you should keep pushing yourself until you could look back and say, I did it. 40-year-old Jimenez was arrested hours later. Police say he was hiding out in a real estate office about 10 miles from the crime scene. The community is keeping Michael's mother and brother in their prayers. Though Matthew and Christina are currently facing their toughest challenge, I am confident they will persevere. Jimenez is facing murder and attempted murder charges. He's due back in court on November 4th. In Katona, Alicia Reed, CBS News, New York.